Hello, drone flight fans. Uh, it's kind of a bit windy to be doing a flight today, so it'd be a good time to uh, try out some editing software, see if I can make a movie. So I took a few of the uh, early videos I did, just getting uh, getting used to the controls, finding out what works and what doesn't, and took it to a park where there isn't much to hit. Along with things that don't work, I kind of like to keep myself out of the frame. I'm not really the subject of the uh, movie at all. Plus, I think I look pretty stupid with that look on my face as I'm trying to fly. Now, one of the things I've managed to learn so far is to keep the keep a really light hand on the controls because if you're if you're moving the, your thumbs around and twiddling them, well, it's going to make a really jerky video. And another thing that I've noticed is it actually handles fairly well in the wind. It's just a matter of, well, having confidence that it's not going to go flying off into some place where I can't find it. And coming up here is a... One of the things maybe golfers can tell you is that the wind above the trees is a little different than the wind at the ground. And right there you see a bit of turbulence where I hit that, uh, hit that boundary. So I'll try to keep it below that line. And also if I can keep it out of the canopy of the trees, there's plenty of room between the trucks. Now you may have noticed that there's almost no one in this in this park. Uh, I try to keep it to public places and I try not to have people in the frames because well a lot of people get annoyed by drones. Uh, I can see you know if they're interfering with traffic or you know if you're buzzing people and annoying them well, they have a point. But others say that they just don't like the whining sound that comes from the little propellers. I wonder if they ever see the irony to that. However, on with the flight. Uh, one of the things I've been asked to do is to see how high it can go. And very shortly I'm going to find the limit. I found myself a nice wide open space. And up we go. Now it's very difficult for me to say, you know, how high we're going. I guess a hundred feet. I don't know. I suppose. It's kind of hard because this is a nano drone and it's only about four inches across. Yeah, I cut away just there where I found out the limit and it fell out of the sky. Another one of the questions I'm often asked is if I can fly by looking through the screen on my Android device. And the answer is sort of yes and no. It does send a video feed uh, to a tablet computer that I picked up. But the problem with that is lag, which those who are watching this from maybe the virtual reality com community will know perfectly well and for the rest of you it kind of means that once you see you're headed for a tree you've already hit it. 
But we're coming to the end of the video and we're going to try to bring the drone in for a nice soft landing. And there we are.